Hey, my name is James. Welcome to the channel. Excited to share some new content with you all. This is uh, the beginning of a series that I'm calling Summer with Craft. A few months ago, I decided to switch to Craft for all of my note-taking application, and it has been a great process so far. I switched back in April, which was just a couple months ago, and I had this idea the other day that I want to take the next eight weeks together, this summer, June and July, if you're watching them kind of in time, if you're watching them in the future, hey, from the past, hope you're doing well. Uh, you can do this anytime, but I want to take this summer and walk you through my craft workflow as I'm developing this really from scratch. I went into craft with no assumptions. I didn't take my old systems with me. I've been using various note-taking apps for a long time now. Since 2008 or 9. I started using Evernote when I was in college. I loved Evernote back then. It was so, so good. Uh, I used it for all my notes in class. You know, our minds are incredible, but they're not great at remembering things. David Allen calls that mind like water. The minds are great for having ideas. They're not great for storing ideas. And so all my ideas get put into a note-taking app. I do not trust my brain to keep anything straight. So this is an opportunity with, with craft to kind of begin afresh after trying everything from Evernote to Notion to Notes to Obsidian and, and OneNote, everything in between. I've tried them all uh, and none of them are perfect. But, and Craft's not perfect either, but Craft accomplishes what I need a note-taking app to do, and then what I'm doing is building a system on top of that. And so I want to invite you to come and be a part of this journey with me. Over the next eight weeks, we're going to dive in together, building a system inside of Craft. So today's kind of like episode zero. I just want to take you through a few things that I really like about Craft. If you're just getting started with Craft, if you've never used Craft, you should go check out their website. You can download it's for uh, iOS and Mac OS only. They also have a web version. Uh, if you're a Windows user, this probably isn't the app for you unless you can use it on the web all the time. Although if you had like an iPad and then a Windows computer, that would totally work. But whatever your primary device is, uh, it really needs to be an iOS or a Mac app, I think, to get the most out of craft. Uh, my primary device right now is this 11-inch iPad Pro with the Magic Keyboard. Craft works so well with that. And so so I want to give you five things that I really like about Craft. Craft is free to try, but uh, if you want all the kind of pro features and all the blocks that it can give you, you do have to pay. You can pay per month or per year. And uh, like I said, I'm using Craft for a year, so I just went ahead and paid for a year. So let me show you five things that I like about Craft, and that will get us started in the series as we work through this summer with Craft. Number one, Craft is easy to start taking notes. If I open up Craft here on my iPad, you can see all my notes here. I can just hit Command N and start taking a note, or I can just click right here on the new note section, and now I am taking a note. And now I can write content right there. And I'm just going, I'm just going. I'm sad, <laughs> I'm happy, I'm writing content. It works, it's so, so fast to take notes. And that's what I love. Uh, I have been using Notion for about a year and a half now, and I do love Notion. There's some incredible things that Notion can do. I still have databases and information in Notion, but I didn't love how slow it was to start, how tedious it was to put text in, and how hard it was to get text out of Notion on iOS devices. And so Notion is a long-term cold storage for me and a database management. Craft is where all my living documents are, all my research, all my writing, all my notes uh, that are maybe ephemeral now but are gonna become something important later. Some of that will get moved into Notion in the future, but Craft is where all of my living documents are because it's it's so easy to take a note, to make something happen, to add a photo, to sketch something. All of it happens so fast. Number two, I can format later. You know, I like to take notes in a stream of consciousness way. If I come back here to this document, if I'm listening to someone and, you know, let's say Steve is talking and he's going to share some points and then someone else, you know, Dave is going to talk and he's going to say something really smart and uh, I want to just, you know, quickly add a bulleted list. Uh, oh, and you know what? Maybe I decided I don't want to do a bulleted list. I want to do a numbered list now. And here's our, here's our top number one goal. Um, and here's two. 
you know, we can just keep going. Or if I don't want to do that, I just hit enter and I can make a new block. I'm just kind of doing this as I go. The formatting comes in later. And so later on, I can make it pretty. I can add all these things and I can format it the way I want. I can literally just come and grab these and drag them somewhere else, which is super nice. So again, each time that I create a, a, a line of content or a block of content, as Craft calls it, that's also a very Notion thing, making blocks of content, I can drag those around later and I can format it later. So I can take notes if we're on a video call or if we're in a creative meeting, I can throw all these things together. After the meeting is over, I can take 10 minutes and really format that and make it what I wanna be. So there's freedom to capture formatting later. Number three is that Craft has so much style. You can add cards, you can add notes and documents, and you can add sketches so easily. You can draw with the pencil, you can add a markup, you can add uh, links to things from web pages, and you can add headers with, in with images on them. It's so easy to make your notes look nice. And you know, there are other apps that are really great for note taking and linking. Things like Obsidian is kind of the new hotness that's everywhere. I have used Obsidian, I have a library there. It's very useful, it's very um, code language looking. And Craft just looks really nice. It has a real style to it. It feels like an Apple app that Apple could have made if they tried harder making a notes app, right? If they really put some time into developing an app, this is what they would come up with. And I just love how uh, Apple-esque Craft feels. It has so much style, but it doesn't get in my way. Again, just like formatting and other things, it has a style, but that's just a, a ground floor. That's just the template. I'm building something on top of that. The craft is stylish. It looks cool. And I like that. It's aesthetically pleasing. Number four, the organization doesn't get in the way. Um, again, Obsidian has like no organization. It's all about what you create and the plugins and themes that you provide. Craft does have a system of organization. Really, it's just folders and subfolders. I have some right here that you can see. I've got a folder with other folders stacked inside of it. And it's, it's easy to use. There's not even tags right now. I think tags are coming eventually, but right now that's not even a thing. Uh, it's really simple to use because it uses linking and other things. And I'll talk about that in just a second. The organization in Craft is really simple and clean, but there is a structure there. And so I'm building my workflows and my resource building, my note taking and note making on top of Craft. But again, it's not getting in my way. It's not bothering me. It looks really nice and it's useful. It's just the right amount of organization that I need to keep things organized, but it's not so overwhelming that I'm spending time working on working instead of getting work done. I'm not just building a system. I'm actually like doing something and making progress. And then number five, as I mentioned just a second ago, linking and search in Craft is so good. If we go here and hit the little magnifying glass or hit Command O, it's gonna bring up our search and you can see these recent notes that we've had. I can open up this test note and there you can see I made some just examples of different blocks that you can make inside of here. And then linking. So I linked to a note right here and you can see it's uh, it's colored and underlined and kind of this hyperlink style. All I need to do is hit the at symbol and I can start typing and find any note or block of text that I've used. And so if I type something, uh, we did a series at church called Hey Alexa, and so I can find all that content. If I wanna find a note for this week, which is my sort of like weekly running uh, bulletin board each week, um, I can find those and link to them. And then I can link back to other things. Linking is an incredibly powerful tool. Uh, we'll talk a lot more about linking in the videos to come because it's super great. But linking and searching craft is so good. It's so fast, it's so seamless. Even though the organization is so simple, if I lose something or want to find any block of text, I can find that by searching and I can link any block of text to any other note. And so now I'm cross-linking those notes together and I'm really not just taking notes, I'm making notes and creating a system, creating these maps of content to help me stay on top of things. And I'll show you how I do that in videos to come, but uh, linking and searching, the best things about Craft for sure. Those are five things that I think Craft does really, really well. I'd love 
love to know what you like about craft. Are you getting started with craft? Are you interested in using craft? Is there anything holding you back from using craft? Let me know in the comments and I can address that in a video. Again, this is a Summer with Craft series. Uh, later this week I'll have really the first big episode talking about um, how to create a system for success when it comes to note taking and note making. These videos will apply to you no matter what note taking system you use, but I do think it'll be best if you use craft with me. So let's go on this journey together. Let's take the next eight weeks and reclaim our note taking system. Walk out of this thing with a robust system for building and developing notes. I think we're all going to be better for that. You know, this is all new for me, putting content on YouTube like this, but after having several conversations with friends, I felt like, hey, enough people are asking me about this and I'm having the same conversations. Why don't I just put these in video for people to have access to whenever they want to find them? Craft is a great app and the more value I can add and the more I can prop them up and help them in any way, that would be great. If you have any questions about craft, again, drop those in the comments. Let's start a dialogue together and join me for the summer of craft. Thanks for checking out this video and I'll see you on the next one.